As we say goodbye to another school year and our attention starts to focus on the festive period ahead and hopefully some consistent warm weather, and for the younger students, a man in a big red suit, I'd like to share some reflections on a year uh, as the, uh, at the college. It would be fair to say that this year has held many uncertainties leading into it, but as the weeks and terms progressed and the certainty that remote learning was not an option again, many other priorities and challenges arose. Staff and students started the year with excitement and enthusiasm about being back on site with all friends and colleagues. What was quickly realised was much learning that we took for granted at schools was required to be retaught to many students and that staff transitioning back to face-to-face -face teaching was not as easy as we had all hoped. The impact COVID and remote learning really had was becoming glaringly obvious for many parents and staff. There was the finest of margins of what care and support students required versus what level of expectation and standards we set for the students within their classrooms for learning for all teachers. All staff needed to adapt their teaching styles again in a way that engaged students with their learning following the significant time students spent during home learning. Staff needed to find the balance between teaching and learning and well-being and engagement and to their credit, I believe, did an amazing job in challenging circumstances. Adaptation and evolution for change practice unfortunately takes time, and this was certainly a year filled with that. Students across the college all faced their own challenges coming into 2022, none, none more important than the next one. The most common question I was often asked was who was impacted greatest during COVID? I know that we all look at things from the perspective of the challenges that it presented to each child and family. So this was a difficult question to answer. Is it the foundation students who have not completed both three and four year old kindergarten? Is it the year 12 students that had not had their teachers during their senior years prior to starting year 12? Is it year seven students who did not finish off their primary schooling years by completing and celebrating years five and six? or at Hazelglen students in years three and four, not finishing their time in the junior school before entering middle school? Is it students in year nine and 10 that traditionally disengage from school and drop out and not complete year 12? The simple answer is, I still don't know. But what I do know, they all need our extensive support, guidance, care and direction right now. And what I can proudly say is that the staff at Hazelden College were giving all of this and more to your children. I want to acknowledge the incredible families, carers and friends of this amazing community, your ongoing support and kindness to me personally and the staff to your, uh, to your children is what makes Hazelden such an incredible school and community to work, live and learn in. The partnership that you form with your child's teachers is one of the most important indicators that determines success. A partnership that is equal and shared, that provides the consistent message that education matters. After a cautious start to the year, we reinstated camps, college production, excursions, inter-school sport, clubs and college major events, which was incredibly well received amongst students, parents and staff and our community. We also ran a Year 10 expedition to Nooka in the Northern Territory in Arnhem Land this year. I'm also pleased that we are, uh, are exploring international travel to the US next year with a NASA and sports leadership trip. My three most mem memorable events this year would have to be the Colour Run, House Performing Arts and our brilliant production of The Wizard of Oz. I'm still trying to get colour out of my car and ears, so I will say thank you to many of the parents who sprayed me during that event. Over the last few weeks I've had the f been fortunate uh, to present all awards recipients across the college with their academic endeavour, citizenship and excellence awards and co-curricular awards. What a privilege this was to be able to present these awards and congratulate students on their personal achievements this year. Thank you to all parents that attended these events. It is fantastic to have you there. Congratulations to Anastasia our Year 12 students for scoring an ATAR of 97.15. She will be awarded our ducks uh, at our awards ceremony, honours assembly at the start of next year. We had our first Year 12 graduation presentations with parents present at the college. This was due to the first two years being impacted by COVID. We had over 800 parents, 
families, friends and students and teachers packed the FERS Fitness Centre to celebrate this milestone for the graduating class of 2022. Our amazing college captains collectively rang the bell as a symbolic sign of their sign-off of 13 years educational journey. I wish all our students all the success for their future endeavours. I try hard in my life to see the glass as half full and see challenges as opportunities for growth and improvement. This year has challenged that belief many times, but what continues to restore my faith in students um, and, and what uh, they are capable of achieving when surrounded by the right people at home and at school. It is the most rewarding element of my job to see a student reactions and pride when recognised for their efforts and achievement at the completion of a task. So congratulations to all students across the college for the work and effort that they have applied this year. The past eight and a half years has been the most rewarding and challenging uh, time of my professional life. I will be forever grateful for the opportunity to work at such an incredible educational facility with some of the greatest leaders, educators and educational support staff that inspire me every day to be better. It has been my honour to serve as Principal of Hazelden College and to have served the community in its aspirations for all of our students. Thank you to all the parents for your ongoing support and in holding me accountable in my role as Principal. Your feedback I have always taken as an opportunity to learn and grow as a leader. I will leave Hazel Glen College with my head held high and unbelievably proud of what I have been a part of. I will actively watch from afar the college and students continued success in 2023. I wish everyone a safe and happy Christmas and a festive season. May God bless you all. Thank you.